Hey guys, so today I have decided to do a holiday haul video. As you guys know, I was on holiday with my friends a couple weeks ago, and while I was there, I ended up picking up quite a few things, and so I thought I would show you guys what I got. So, the first two things that I got are not actually things that I bought when I was away. These two things were given to me by my friends as late birthday presents, but I still thought I'd include them in the haul anyway. So the first thing that I got is this little bracelet which I got from my friend Lauren and what I really like about this is that it's very simple and you can wear it every day and um, one of the best things about this I think is that it is adjustable and it is quite small anyway because I don't know if you guys have noticed but I do happen to have like really small wrists and so I do find it hard to find bracelets that fit me properly. Like I went through this phase where I used to wear a lot of bracelets like a few years ago so I do have tons of bracelets but honestly half of them don't fit me properly like they always end up sliding off my wrist and so it's kind of annoying so I give up on them um, but like I said this one is a lot smaller than the other bracelets that I have and it is easily adjustable and so yeah I don't think this one will be falling off my wrist anytime soon the next thing that I have to show you guys is something that I'm super excited to share with you. So I know that I said in my birthday haul that this professional fangirl t-shirt was the best piece of clothing that I could have ever received, but I think that what I have now is something that is that little bit better than this shirt. I have to say there is something better. Um, and it is this Spoby t-shirt which I got from my friend Bryce. So I don't know if you guys know this but the actors that play Spencer and Toby in Pretty Little Liars released these limited edition shirts which say Relationship Goals Spoby. Um, and they released them for a limited amount of time to raise money towards the charity Erase MS. And um, I actually almost bought myself one of these t-shirts. Um, I saw them advertised on Instagram almost the entire way through June and I was like I kind of want one and the night before they were going to take them off the website I went on and I was like going through the motions to buy one um, and then I quickly changed my mind because I saw how much the shipping was and I was like I cannot justify buying this for myself because the shipping was ridiculous like I don't know about you guys but I am one of those people that's kind of cheap when it comes to like buying things online like if the shipping is ridiculously expensive and almost the same as the price of the thing you're buying I decide not to buy it so I skipped out on the t-shirt and I was kind of wondering like what Bryce had gotten me for my birthday because he did tell me that um, it was going to arrive after my birthday so I kinda had a suspicion I was like oh my god did he get me a Spoby shirt and I didn't want to get my hopes up because I didn't want to be like disappointed if that wasn't what it was but I was literally so happy whenever I seen it because it was like oh my god I almost bought myself one like even if I had bought myself one I still probably would have kept both of them and worn both of them but like it was just one of the best things ever and I'm kind of obsessed with it um literally uh, I tweeted whenever I got it I was like oh my god Bryce got me a Spoby shirt and I'm obsessed with it and literally I am it is just one of those articles of clothing that I feel like I want to wear all the time because it's just so fabulous um, and actually there's some good news I did see recently on Instagram that they have brought the t-shirts back for a little bit more time uh, I think that they only brought them back for like 10 more days so if you guys can still get them I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get them because uh, if you guys like Pretty Little Liars as much as I do I feel like this is a shirt that you need plus like I said it's limited edition so they won't be around forever so you know I definitely recommend that you guys get one as well okay so moving on to the things that I actually bought when I was away the first thing that I got was this photo of me and my friend Megan on the ghost train which is hilarious so if you guys watched my throwback Thursday video then you know I have another photo like this with my friend Ashley on the ghost train from a couple of years ago and when I was back in Port Rush I decided I needed a new ghost train photo so um, all of my friends went on the ghost train uh, you're only allowed two people per car so uh, me and my friend Megan went first and then everyone else went in behind us and uh, it does take your photo and I was trying to remember from the last time when they took your photo so that I could be prepared and you know like look good because that's what you do whenever you know the ride's gonna take your photo you try to look good and um so 
So I was like trying to prepare myself for the photo and literally the very last corner um, the car turns before you leave the ride is when they take your photo and I was not prepared for that. I would sort of given up by that time. I was like, okay, I have no idea where the camera is so I don't really care what my face looks like. And so this is what the photo ended up looking like and um, it is kind of embarrassing but it's also kind of funny and I kind of love it. And part of me wishes that I had bought the other photos of my other friends too just so that I could have them like a keepsake. Um, but I didn't. I just decided to get the one that I was in with my friend. And um, yeah, that is the story of how I have this ghost stream photo. And Megan probably hates me because I've shown this in like two videos already so um, I promise that's the last time I'm going to show it Megan. The next couple of things that I got are things that I got with tickets at the amusements. If you guys watched my um, holiday vlogs then you know we went to the amusements twice so this is from the first time that we went and uh, these are tickets that I just got myself and um, I ended up getting like 60 something tickets and it was because I was playing the 2P slot machines and uh, if you guys watched that vlog I did say I got a little bit addicted to them because I spent like £2 worth of 2Ps on those machines and I think it was just that because I had gotten quite a lot of tickets from them I thought if I kept playing I'd get more tickets um, which is a real problem for me like when we go to the amusements I have a serious addiction to winning tickets um, so that's why I don't go a lot um, but I ended up getting like 60 something tickets this day and so I bought myself two things I got myself this little ring um, which I think is really nice and uh, sadly it's a little bit big again I think this is like the smallest size of ring they had uh, which is disappointing because I have like really small fingers but um, like I said it's a really nice little ring uh, probably really cheap but probably going to turn my finger green but I didn't care because I went up with my tickets and uh, the next thing that I got there um, was this little notebook uh, which has a little cat on it and um, the pages in it have the same little pattern printed on it look at that um, so adorable um, but yeah those are two things that I got at the amusements these next few things that I got I got from a tourist shop in Port Rush so um, if you guys were going on holiday and you wanted to bring a present back for someone this would be the kind of shop that you go into to get them and the first thing that I picked up from there was this temporary glitter tattoo which seems like a really weird thing to get when you're like with your friends but we saw this stand of temporary tattoos and we kind of joked that we should all get one and it would be kind of like a squad thing that we could do together like we would all put these on and we'd all go out to Kelly's and we'd all like go clubbing wearing these temporary tattoos um, and that didn't exactly pan out because uh, only me and Hannah ended up buying temporary tattoos um, and I never ended up using mine I don't know if Hannah used hers I don't think that she did but um still got one anyway because I thought why not it's kind of silly it's kind of fun I think it was only like a pound or something um, so yeah um, I ended up buying this feel like I should use it because I bought it um, and it would be stupid to let it go to waste. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll do it in a video. Let me know in the comments below guys if you want me to wear this temporary tattoo. haven't decided where I'm going to put it yet but um, I have it there just in case I want to know what I look like with the tattoo. The next thing that I got from the tourist shop is this set of High School Musical Troy badges. Now, if you guys watched my Wildcat for Life video, then you know I was a huge High School Musical fan back in the day. So these really hit home whenever I saw them. I was like, oh my god, I need these. Um, not so much that I really needed them, but I, I mean the fangirl in me was telling me I need to get these. And so I did end up buying them. Um, not really sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but I decided that I would hate myself if I didn't pick them up. And I'm really glad that I have them because once a wild cat, always a wild cat. And the last thing that I got from this shop is a little button badge and I feel like it describes me pretty well and it says I don't discriminate, I hate everyone. And so that's all I'm going to say about that. The next thing that I got is not actually something I bought for myself but rather something that someone won for me and it is this yellow dolphin. So if you guys watched one of my vlogs then you know that me and my friends were at the amusements and we spent quite a lot of time on the club machines and um, my friend Bryce found this one that was like a win every time type of claw machine and so he was like winning plushies and he ended up getting one for like 
every single person in our friend group. Um, and this is the one that I got. I got this little dolphin and it is called Delphine. Delphine the dolphin. Um, and I really like it. Uh, I'm not really sure what everyone else got. I think it was like the other ones you could get were um, octopuses or octopi. I don't know the plural of octopus um, and also starfish and so my friends all got like different colored starfish and different colored octopi and I was the only one that got a dolphin so I feel really special about that and the other prizes that me and my friends got at the amusements I do not have here to show you guys but we spent one day in the amusements uh, pulling our tickets together to win a big prize and that prize was a pony also known as Isla Shaniqua and if you guys want to check out the vlog where we won her, I will leave that in the description below. Uh, and we had leftover tickets after we got our pony and so we also decided to get a little plushy minion which we named Devin which I don't actually have a photograph of um, but we named it Devin after Dave and Kevin which are two minions from the Minions movie and the rest of the tickets we used to get a bunch of Mawam which I can't show you because I'm pretty sure that we ate them all um, I'm not actually sure how those were distributed because we like give them to one of my friends to put in her bag whenever we were there so uh, I don't really know exactly what happened to the mile one but I'm pretty sure they're all gone right now so can't show you those either because they were sweets um, and yeah so those were our prizes and it was a pretty eventful day Okay, so moving on to things that I got in what I want to call regular stores. Basically stores that you can find when you're not on holiday. Like just your average stores because um, there was this day when me and my friends were away where it was raining. And so we decided just to have a shopping day. We went into Korean and uh, we went shopping. And um, yeah, so these are just things that you could pick up in a regular store. Like you wouldn't have to go anywhere special for them. Um, and the first place that we went was CEX and that is basically just a secondhand DVD and electronics store and it's one of the best places I think to go if you're looking for DVDs. I don't really know if they have it anywhere else in the world or if it's just the UK but um, I really love this store because they always have tons of DVDs and you can usually get them for pretty cheap and uh, I ended up picking up three DVDs when I was there and the first DVD that I picked up was Kai Coyote Ugly and there is a tiny bit of a story as to why I bought this and it's because when I was about 12 which I think is like the first time that I watched this film uh, I watched it with my sister and I fell in love with this movie I just was obsessed with it like literally I think I borrowed the DVD from my sister and I watched it like all the time uh, it's just a really good movie I think and when I was little I was obsessed with the song Can't Fight the Moonlight by Leanne Rhymes, which is um, in this movie and I don't know it was just like a really fun movie and I was kind of in love with it and um, for the longest time when I was little I wanted to be a coyote I wanted to dance on a bar and wanted to be kind of crazy like it just seemed like so much fun um, and so that's why I got that the next DVD that I got was the sex in the city movie and this is the first one and I actually ended up watching the movie before I watched the TV show which kind of doesn't make any sense because the movie set after the TV show but that's the way I decided to watch them anyway and I actually ended up really liking the movie um, wasn't really a big fan of the second one but I did really like this one and so I picked up that and the final movie that I got was The Proposal um, and one thing that I noted about this cover is that it reminds me a lot of the Confessions of a Shopaholic cover um, don't really know what that has to do with anything but that's kind of why it caught my attention um, I really just picked up this movie because it's really funny uh, like uh, it's not really something that I've seen a lot. I think I've seen this movie like a couple of times But I just remember it always being really funny and really good for a night in and so that's why I got that Moving on to some of the final things that I got so um, It wouldn't be me and my friends if we didn't stop by a bookshop So we did go into Eason's and I ended up picking up two new books and the first one that I got was Weightless by Sarah Bannon. Um, I have never heard of this book before. I've never heard of this author before. But I was walking around the store and I saw it and it caught my attention. And I thought, sure, why not? Um, 
literally I haven't really been reading that much lately like I know that I've got a lot of youtuber books and so I am getting back into reading um, and when me and my friends end up going to these bookstores I have been challenging myself to pick up books that I think would be interesting not necessarily books that are popular but just ones that I think would be interesting and this is the one that caught my eye uh, it sounds like a very like teenagery drama type thing and I do tend to like those in my TV shows so I hope that I like them in my books as well so I picked up that and the final book that I got when I was in Eason's is surprise surprise another youtuber book this time it is life with a sprinkle of glitter uh, by Louise Pentland also known as sprinkle of glitter on YouTube and what makes this youtuber book different from all the other youtuber books that I have is that I don't actually watch Louise's videos um, which kind of makes you wonder why I bought this book in the first place but um one of the reasons I decided to get it is because I like to support Team Internet. I think that it's amazing things that YouTubers can do and I'm all for supporting that. And uh, also, I really want to start watching Louise's videos and I really like her personality. She's like another one of those British YouTubers that I really want to watch. Um, Obviously, I'm subscribed to so many people right now that I couldn't possibly add another YouTuber to the list, but I'm thinking about adding Louise to my list of YouTubers because um, she's best friends with Zoe, and I've seen her in other people's videos, and I do like her a lot, and um, her book sounds like it would be a lot of fun to read, and it would be a great way to start getting to know her before I watch her videos, and so that's why I picked up that. And finally, moving on to the last things that I got. So technically, these don't really count as things I got on holiday because I bought them online. But when I was away, Zoella released her second line of beauty products. And because I wasn't sure if they were going to have them in the local super drug where we were, I decided to buy them online. And if you guys watched my Zoella's Beauty First Impressions video, then you know I loved her first line of products. And so I was super excited about the second. But unlike the first time, I didn't end up buying everything in this line, mainly because I still had a lot of um, Zoella's first beauty products that I had, so I want to use those up before I get any more. Um, but I did end up picking up some things from the second line. And the first thing that I got from Zoella's second line is the Zoella Kissy Missy Lip Balm. And this is something that Zoe didn't have in her previous line and I was really excited about because you can never have too many lip balms. Um, the only thing that I would say about this is I kind of wish that it was a tube rather than a little tub because I prefer to put on like lip gloss and lip balm and things by a tube rather than than having to put my finger in it um, but either way I'm still really grateful for this because when I came back from holiday my lips were extremely chapped and so I definitely got good use out of this right away and the second thing that I got was the Zoella Beauty Fresh Fizz Fragranced Bath Fizzer um, and these are just another fizz bar and uh, I really love Zoella's first fizz bar so I was really excited that she brought these back and again I really love the packaging of these I think that they're so adorable especially the fact that they have a do not eat sticker I just think they're so adorable and plus um, they're really good in your bath so I'm really excited to try this new one out. And finally, the very, very last thing that I got was the Zoella Beauty Let's Spritz Body Mist. And I was really excited about this um, because, again, I really loved the first body mist that Zoe brought out. Um, and, again, the packaging of this is just so adorable. And so I'm really excited to start using this as well. And so that is everything for this haul video. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Also, leave me a comment below letting me know if you guys will be picking up any of Zoella's new beauty products and yeah uh, I guess that's it thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys so this is really random but I heard it raining outside and I was kind of just like you know what I kind of want to just listen to the sound of the rains